Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman. Over there, we have John Lindusky. How are you doing, John? Hey, I'm feeling better. Yeah, same here. I'm a little sore after doing all the walking I did today, but I'm doing all right. Yeah. Uh, as we said, mental health being key, um, you know, taking it takes a bigger person to realize what it is to when something's wrong, and then sometimes in, in that case to walk away. And uh, definitely today, I definitely did some walking just to kind of open up my eyes and think. So here's mental health part no number two. When stressed, walk away. It is so much easier to walk away, assess the situation, and then return to it. Yep. Because then you're ready for it. Absolutely. So thank you. Uh, as as we all know. Um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002, West Side Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Thank you, Milos, for all your support and help in, 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 in this, um, just from a, a, a sponsor standpoint. Um, also, much love to TNT Racing. Um, we're going to be starting getting ready to go back at that soon, too. I mean, yeah, January's only <laughs> gone. I mean, that means like two months. Right. Um, and we're we're going to be getting back and being very busy. And uh, the month of April and M March and April are slammed for us. So uh, you'll be seeing a lot of us, unfortunately, for <laughs> our significant others. <laughs> um today the admirals took on the manitoba moose um the admirals goaltender um uh, connor ingram is out uh undisclosed um so in net was devin cooley with backup tomas vamachka backing him up uh we had evan cormier and uh backing up Mikel bardeen for the moose um the Admirals um, in this game played a very physical game, but they yeah. didn't use their speed that they had. Um, I think that's missed at, at a point with uh, Grimaldi out. Right. Um, with COVID now, we don't know who has it and who don't. Nor do I really want to know who has it and who don't, but, right. you know... It's just a really hard situation. I know that um, it was public notice that Olivier was on their COVID protocol and uh, he returned to the lineup today, uh, delivering a few good hits. He actually looked a lot better than he had before COVID. Maybe COVID's making him a better hockey player. <laughs> hmm. um, so given that, there's a lot of those things going on. Um, Shots were 34-24, so there's a 10-shot gap. Um, right. That with a grain of salt, the moose got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> By lucky, I mean on the first goal, uh, the first period scoring, nothing. Second period at the 15-25, so we were well into half of the game. Right. The first goal was even scored. Uh, scored by Luke Johnson, former Iowa Wild. His third with an assist from Austin Poganski, his 13th, and Simon Lundmark, his third. Austin Poganski uh, hit um, uh, Mark Del Geizo on that play into Cooley and not Cooley over, which you can't blame Cooley. You can't blame Del Geizo for his positioning. Right. His just it was a bad situation. They should have blown it when the contact with the goalie was there. They didn't. It happened. Now that we get it done, you know, we were frustrated, but that's that's just bad officiating. Um, right. the scoring in the third at the 1910 mark on an empty net was Austin Paganski, his seventh of the season. The Admirals lost this game not because of what they did didn't do but because their shots wouldn't go in and there were certain times i'm like shoot the puck you have an open shot shoot the puck you have an open shot and they turn they skate forward and then turn around and i'm like 
Uh, All right. Defensively, the Admirals played a very solid game. I would like to see more of this going down the line. Um, starting here would be a great system, a great, great way to go into this two game road trip we have with Colorado this weekend. As much as John loves the Colorado Scraping Eagles, as they used to be called in the EH. Yep, that's what they used called. to be called. Uh, I still call them that because I'm a little old school. But, <laughs> um, you know, i uh, got to give some guys some credit. Um, you know, people, they worked their butts off. They played well. Um, don't Donovan needs to get a little better at staying out of the box. Richard had five shots. Uh, Glass had four shots. Barron's had two, um, and Allard had two. Everybody else pretty much had one or none. Right. Um, three stars of the game. This is why I don't have to talk about the goalies, because they were the stars. Right. Uh, third star of the game, Devin Cooley, stopping 12, 32 of 33. Devin Cooley probably playing his best game as an admiral so far, minus home opener. Right. Um Second star of the game, Luke Johnson with a goal. First star, Mikel Bardeen. 24 saves, 24 shots, gets the shutout, tip of the cap to you. Normally don't do those kinds of things, but we'll be nice today. Um, your referee was Phil Cusco and Sean Fernandez. Fernandez is the one that was on that uh, the goalie getting knocked over. Uh, Jameson Grenier and Jeff po- Pocha were the linesmen. Um, the Admirals are the last five are now one and four. The Moose are four and one. So um, hopefully this team can get healthy and, and, and just yeah. match of COVID quickly. Right. Um, we have not seen a fully healthy Admirals roster yet this season. Not that I'm trying to take away anything. This team should have guys ready to step up at the next level, but yeah. you know. So all I have to say in all, all, all assumptions of today, keep doing what you did in this game. Get a little bit more offensive pressure. Let your defense turn into offense. Right. Play defense and turn it into offense. That's how the Preds win games. Right. They've been beating teams all year. It's kind of hard to beat Nashville when they only allow, on average, 2.1 goals a game. Right. You play defense. Keep the puck out of your net. You give yourself a chance. Your goalie will do the work for you. You just got to give him a chance. Yeah. Now put the puck in the net and give him a chance. So that's all I got for you guys today. We will see you tomorrow with the Preds and the Buffalo Sabres. Thank you for watching from Milwaukee to Nashville. Uh, Have a wonderful evening. Have a great weekend. If you don't watch our Preds video, and have a happy Friday, I'm going to eat some fish on Friday. So, mm-hmm. yeah.